Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody posted this on Facebook, and this isn't really what the video is about, but I was going to kind of clean it up for them and send it back to them. So I've already traced it, but somebody the other day had a question about find and replace, and when they edit query and go to uncheck, make sure everything is unchecked is the main problem. Then double click on the text and go to uni have uniform field check, get the eyedropper tool and then check on the white, and then say okay and okay, and then go find all and it did it. Now, the reason they were, let's just do this again. They were having this problem with find and replace, edit query. If you have something else checked and you don't see it, like I would even take away the no outline and just, so we're, we're gonna have curves checked now and we're gonna do the exact same thing and we're gonna get, and you can always move this box out of the way, get your eyedropper tool and then press the white and go okay, okay, and then go find all, will it work? Sometimes it's gonna say, couldn't, uh, no object found. So you just need to kind of play around with it. I have found really the best way to do it, and it might even be in later versions of Corel, is to select the white, and you can see down here we got the white, and go right here from, from selection, and then find all, and then hit delete. So it found all that color. Now in this particular case, there are still some grays and stuff you need to kind of look at, but uh, you can uh, you could search those grays, but they're probably like here, there's uh, two different shades of gray. So you spend a lot of time uh, searching for grays. If you'll just uh, get rid of these, and a lot of these on the, uh, I'm gonna leave that piece right there. Well, I'll tell you what, let's take that away. We'll find another one. Um, uh, right here. Well, let's, let me delete the other ones first. You can't, this doesn't really work on an interior one. Like that right there or an edge. Uh, but this one right here is on an edge. You could actually, instead of deleting it, you can see that this is, RGB black, true black. Well, you could check on that and turn that black and it'll, sorry, it jumped. And you can't really tell. Now I would uh, probably uh, select that and then hold down the shift key and select that and combine those two colors. And now you won't have a line, but you can go through and get rid of some of this stuff. Some of this stuff is a lot easier sometimes to keep like if we delete that gray, look what we got. Now you could very easily fix that by just leading, deleting those two nodes. Uh, let's see if we don't have another one that would kind of represent that. So just check, you know, and you still need to do a little bit of cleanup. And like in the interior one, you almost have to do that. But if you wanted this sharp point to, I don't even know what I hit there. If you want that sharp part of the W to be part of the letter, just select it and make it black. And then I would shift select your color and then cut combine. And what that's gonna do, it won't allow there to really be a line there anymore. And then this is just personal preference. Do you want that or not? You don't want those type stuff, but you can go through here. And a lot of times, you know, instead of maybe cleaning all this up, you could probably do this, click on your black from selection, find all, and then nudge it over. A lot of times you have to, when you have selected, you got to go to group and group. There we go. So it took all that garbage out of the way. It makes it a lot easier just to grab the black. And of course it didn't get all the black, so you can now, and because we nudged, you could just nudge these letters back over. And then you would want to look, does it need that stuff? You know, you probably needs this for the bottom of the rope, but I would just look at the other parts of the rope and see if they're not missing something. Anyway, pretty cool graphic. And then you would just delete all this.
So side by side, of course, this is a bitmap, so it's got a white box around it, but it's pretty sharp. This is fuzzy. This is pretty sharp. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.